It looked like my intestines was falling out. I lost so much blood that my adrenaline from the fight is what saved me because I don't think I would have died that day. A couple years after high school, I got stabbed in Jersey. I remember the day real vividly. And I just happened to be walking and seeing these dudes trying to jump my young boy. You know, I stepped up to help my young boy. And there was just so many of these dudes. Out of nowhere, I thought a dude punched me in my stomach. And I remember laughing, like, and these dudes hit like bitches. It was wintertime, and it was like all the cold air from outside was going in my body into this one spot where he punched me. I looked down, and it was like my whole intestines had fell out of me. These little girls, they saw me. They was grabbing me. It was pulling me so hard. The voices kept saying, don't lay down, just walk. I'm not a super religious dude or nothing like that. I felt like they was demons. They just wanted me to lay down and die. We can against the ghost. And as I got closer, it was a cop car. And I walked up on his window. I remember I looked down, and he looked down. From right there, shit was just in slow motion. He was like, get in the car. He pulled off so fast, I fell into the car, and the door was still open. It was swinging, hitting my Timbs. It was no doubt in my mind that I was dead. I looked at the window, and the window was like a TV screen, and it was showing all of these bad things I'd done. I was like, oh, I know where I'm going. The last thing I saw was me helping the old lady with her bags, her grocery bags, and I passed out after that. They revived me at the hospital. I saw a detective walk in the room, and he always had a hard on for me. He walked up and stood over me and was like, somebody finally got you, huh? That shit turned right back into a monster. I be the sinister. Yeah, I play the villain. Yeah. Put me in the jungle on the block, I make a killing. I got stabbed when I was like 20 years old. It, it was like six more years of me living a crazy crime life. You know, it was when I caught my second felony. It was a gun charge. And I just remember, you know, sitting in that cell one day I woke up and I said to myself, what am I doing here? Why am I wasting my life away? And that was the day that hip hop really saved my life. So tired of myself. So tired of this hell. So as soon as I got out of jail, man, I had to get out of Philly. It, it wasn't nothing there for me. I just decided to head up down south. My father was down in Miami. Miami opened my eyes in a whole different way of the grind and hustle with music. It's like Miami, they got their own world down there. Cats be having their trucks wrapped. They do deals in the strip club and KOD and all that. The first studio I went recording in, I just remember walking in and seeing, you know, the platinum plaques up on the wall. I was everywhere, man. Different cities. I was from New York to the West Coast to Atlanta. I really got my name up. My nigga Paul tried to get a cab. That motherfucker tried to walk in front of us and get a you cab. Get a cab. No, we standing right here. Motherfuckers, you stupid. I did a collaboration record with Slim from 112. It was a single I was pushing called The Honeymoon, and it did real good on radio, man. I mean, it hit the number 13 on the top 40 urban charts. Oh shit, like this is really going awesome, somewhere, but this record doesn't really represent me as who I am as an artist. I'm a street cat, you know? I grew up on cats like Beanie Siegel, M.O.P., The Locks. You know who it is, your boy SP the Ghost LOX D Block. My boy and my fan War Child. Damn! I laid up with P, Styles P. And we did this track called Rock Roll. And Styles dope dude, man. He directed the video. We was out in his hood out in Y.O. P did his thing. He's like, yo, War, move to the left. Yo, y'all move back. And that's when it hit me. He was like, yo, this is that raw shit. This is me. This is the type of shit I need to let people know who the fuck I am. Is that what inspired you? Like, last stop? Or it was always something that, you know? Um, it was always something inside of me. I mean, their wings is nice. You got all the ingredients that a soldier likes. I like you polite. So what I learned was how to start thinking and moving like a brand. Me, this is serious for me. I got five and three kids that I love more than anything in this world. I'm doing this for them. You know, I ain't just hustling for myself. You know what I mean? Legally hustling, that is. Too many people are depending on me to be present. I can't fuck with the streets like that because the streets don't love nobody. The streets don't give you anything. This grind is really hard. You got to be willing to 
sacrifice everything. A lot of days I get weak, I wanna give up because it's hard on me. Like I'm a family man. Every time I go to do that, I just think about me sitting in that cell. Me walking down that block in Jersey with my guts hanging out. They'll always straighten me right back up. After that, I'm just, I'm right back to the money. I put in that work. I deliver that work. I spit that work. Work, work a man, work.